All right, so what I have for you guys is a very special segment of cooking and a little bit of wrestling advice for you. So you guys did your part, now I'm doing my part. Here's the video responding. All right, so first. So as you can see, uh, the, the cooking has commenced. We are going to be cooking lasagna tonight. She said it was a complicated one. It's definitely not one of the easier ones. I wanted to, I wanted to have a little challenge. I, I did one little challenge. That is why we're doing this. I'm gonna pick out all the bad ones. You take a look at my dicing skills here. Not amazing, I'll tell you that. But it's, it'll get the. To get the job done, look at that nice spread. What we're, what we're looking sure at over here. Before moving on to the next step. All right, so one of our first little comments is how do we build muscular strength? And that one was in our, our last little vlog, but essentially how you build muscular strength is you lift weights, you lift stuff that's heavier, uh, you just lift heavy stuff. Or you, um, you do body weight workouts, you do some um, squats, body weight workouts. All you gotta do is push your muscles to and beyond fatigue allow them to rebuild, and then there you go, that's how you build muscular strength. Say you're having trouble jumping to the higher level. I'm there physically, I've been at the higher level, but I wanna keep going back to the old me once I get tired. How do you just, oh, discipline to keep yourself higher level and not bring out the worst version of yourself? See, a fatigue makes a, a wimp out of all of us, right? So once we feel that fatigue, we're like, ah, I'm pretty much, I wanna give up, I wanna be done. So if you're at that higher level, um, I would encourage you to start working on your mind, get your mind right, because if you can get your mindset right, then essentially what you can do is you can, um, you can actually train yourself to work through those places and learn how to function under fatigue instead of being um, a slave to fatigue, which most people are. All right, so I'm gonna cover this in a cube of gray. That is what my chef is teaching me. Yes, chef. And I stir this all together, mix it in. Chef Nation. You have a meat in six weeks. What can you recommend so you can achieve faster twist muscles? I put it in my last vlog, but in order for you to get fast twitch muscles, you have to do fast twitch actions, right? So that's anything from jumping, um, squatting, pushing, pulling. You gotta bend, you gotta change your level. It's all these little actions that, that will create uh, in those, those muscles the ability to be able to do that. Now we got a half a cup of this old girl right here. So, so just one half cup of this, that's it. Girl, I'm a cook. Mm, mm, I'm a cook. Tomato sauce here. Here's our lasagna. Still can't spell it. She's opened up in a can of whoop ass. Oh, sorry, that's not whoop ass. That is, what is that? Tomato paste. I'm always putting in the most work and in and out of practice, but I always find myself getting gas and matches. That's probably because your issue is not a physical issue, it's a mental issue. See, when you're stressed and when you feel anxiety, when you feel any kind of pressure, that drains and takes away from you. It actually takes away from some of your, your strength and your conditioning. If you don't wanna get gas and matches, learn how to deal with your stress. It's a pre-practice routine. Find a good pre-practice routine in which you are encouraging yourself and letting yourself know, I am here and I'm ready. And then that way uh, you can allow yourself to use that because stress will pull from your muscles. It will pull from your conditioning. Look at the rhythm that I stir with. By the way, I don't know if I got to show you guys this, but over here we have, we do have herbs. And the herbs. We actually grow our own plants over here. Big ups to Helen Marulis for uh, making that plant situation happen. Shake the herbs in there, girl. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. What is that? I think it shakes pretty well. All right, girl. Just calm down with all that. <laughs> I'm coming into districts in about two days. It's my sophomore year, and I really want to make it to state, and I need help on wrestling on top of my feet. There's nothing I'm gonna say to you right now that's gonna help your situation. All I can do is go with confidence and do your best. Try your best and give your best effort, and go with confidence, that's it. How to get off bottom easier, because I have a hard time with that a lot. You have to put yourself in bottom a lot. Keep on learning how to get up. You have to create some stability down there, get good core, you gotta strengthen the arms, you just gotta get used to the fatigue of being on bottom and then never giving up on bottom. Always, always, always moving, always moving. Can you talk a little bit about scratch weight 
Uh, how can you lose a little scratch weight before weigh-ins? Uh, my encouragement is to be, uh, if you want to make it easier on yourself to lose weight before weigh-ins, um, have a little something the night before weigh-ins, and then that should help a little bit. Obviously, you're gonna float weight, and uh, depending on how much you're cutting, um, which shouldn't be too much, but depending on how much you're cutting and how, how your diet plan has worked, you should be able to get a workout in the, the, the day or the night before. Eat some food, eat and put a little fuel in you, go to sleep, and then you'll wake up with a little bit of something that, sh that should help you what to eat before weigh-ins. We talked a little bit about that earlier. And so my encouragement is if you're gonna eat something before weigh-ins, it's gotta be a simple starch or a, a simple carb. And essentially what that does is it allows our bodies, it basically fuels our bodies and gives us the energy that we need in order to in order to perform the way that we want to perform before you go into practice use things to fuel your practice use those simple starts and simple carbs to fuel your practice if it's a night before something like a, a, a pasta with red sauce is going to be great no heavy meats no not a whole lot of heavy like a steak would not be a great idea because it takes about three to four days for that to digest into your stomach so you want fast energy 